Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Power BI Data Gateways. Power BI Gateways are very helpful when you need to connect your Power BI files with your on-premise data sources. For example, suppose I have on-premise SQL Server and I need to connect with my Power BI file and then on Power BI services, I want to do a schedule refresh, which means that I want to refresh my data at a particular interval it can be daily it can be monthly it can be weekly so according to your schedule you want to refresh your data in your power bi reports and the, your data is lies on the on-premise data sources so for that you are going to need a power bi data gateway so enough all the talking let's get started As you can see on my screen, it's a structure of the Power BI Data Gateway. For example, on my screen, you can see that on-premise data gateway sits between your on-premise data sources and your cloud applications. Power BI service is a cloud application. And in order to connect with your on-premise data sources, there should be a link between these two or any bridge between these two. Otherwise, Power BI service cannot refresh your data. So, in order to create that link, we need the Power BI Data Gateway. Okay, now comes to the picture, what are the different types of data gateways in Power BI? Well, there are two kinds of data gateways available. One is known as the standard mode, another is the personal mode. I'll provide a link in the description section if you want to learn more about these or from where you need to download these one. Personal mode is for just one user only that cannot be shared with anyone else. While standard mode is also known as your organizational mode or enterprise mode and that can be shared by multiple users. I always recommend you to install Power BI Data Gateway as a standard mode. Why? The reason is whenever you are working in an organization, you are not the only one who is going to manage those gateways. You have to also assign another person or an employee who is the developer in your organization as an admin to that particular gateway and for that case you are going to need a standard mode data gateway on-premise data gateway as i mentioned you earlier is for the multiple cloud-based services that can be for your azure analysis services azure logic apps power bi power automate or power apps and also it's for the on-premise data sources for example, SQL Server, SQL Server Analysis Services, other data sources, files, SharePoint, etc. So this helps you to connect your on-premise data sources to the Power BI service or the cloud services. And when it's going to connect with your cloud services, first it decrypts data sources credentials and connect to data source, then sends queries to data source and return the results of the gateway cloud service. But in case of the cloud services, first it's gonna connect with your gateway cloud service. There it's gonna encrypt and store data credentials and on-premise data gateway details. And after that, it's gonna route queries and results between cloud services, on-premise data gateway and data source. And then it's gonna connect via Azure Service Bus. That's how it actually works. So now let's head over to the demo part where I'm going to show you how to download the Power BI Data Gateway, how to install it, how to configure it. And we will also see if there's any error occurring during the process of installing and configuring the Data Gateway. And then I'll show you how to do exactly the schedule refresh or refresh your data set. So here I'm on my browser and here you can see that this is my Power BI. So what you can do, you can come on your home. If you are not, then you can see this download button over here and then you can go to data gateway. Once you will click over here, you will be on this page where it's going to show you the two options. One is the standard mode. Another is the personal mode. Not only that, if you don't want to come over here, you can go to google.com in the Google search or any search engine that you are using. It can be Bing, it can be Google or any other. And just type over here, download data gateway. 
influence power bi that's it once you will do that the very first page that you would see it's the same page now you should notice over here it would provide you some description of the data gateways for example it's going to say one gateway for all cloud services definitely that makes sense because any power bi or microsoft cloud services you can connect with this one whether it's a power bi power bi apps power automate or azure so everything you can connect with this one it's very easy to set up and definitely it's a secured access to data data transfer between power bi and the on premise data gateway is secured through azure service bus credentials provided by the gateway administrator are encrypted to help protect your information in the cloud and only decrypted on the gateway machine so you should be worry free in this case that your data is going to be unsecure or someone as is going to use your data or hack the data so now let's click on the standard mode it's downloading over here as you can see at the bottom of my screen also before starting installing this software i would like to say power bi time to time release the updates for power bi data gateways so please don't forget to install those updates you need to open the file over here you can change the path if you would like to but always remember that install this power bi data gateway on the same machine where your data source lies now click install yes yes now it would take some time to install this so please be patient i am going to forward this video a bit we are going to click yes over here and now you can see that power bi on premise data gateway has been installed now you have to use your organizational email address to log in with this for example over here i am going to use my bi consulting pro email address that simply means you have to use the same email address to log in over here that you are using to log in onto your power bi service now it's going to ask you whether you want to register a new gateway to this computer or you want to migrate restore or take over an existing gateway if you have already installed the gateway and you have the recovery key then you can choose the option 2 where you have you know, multiple options like move a gateway to a new computer recover a demanded gateway or take ownership of a gateway but since we are installing for the very first time so what we can do we can just click on the next and here you can provide a name to your gateway so i'm gonna say bcp which means bi consulting pro here i can provide a key and please always keep with you this recovery key it's gonna be very helpful for you in future whenever you have to migrate your gateway or you have to move to another system or even you want to add it to a cluster or something like that this key is gonna be very helpful always for you so i have provided my key and if you want to add this gateway to an existing cluster as well you can then you have to just click on this button and then you have to provide the existing cluster if you have already gateway cluster is a cluster of the many gateways so in organizations we have to create many gateways and then what we need to do we can add them in a cluster so that we have only one cluster where we have the multiple gateways and if you want to learn more you can just click on this and then you can open in any browser click ok and there it's going to open you the information that you required what is a gateway cluster how to add it etc and i can say configure but you can see that this name is already being used this means previously i have already installed the gateway with this name and now if i have to create another gateway i have to give it a different name otherwise what i can do i can just click over here and i can use this one there as i told you earlier even you have to add this into a gateway cluster you have to provide the key over here so let's try with this only here it's saying the name is already being used so i have to give another name so i'm saying bcp demo and now let's try to configure this okay 
now it's saying in order to add a new gateway instance to this computer or this cluster the primary gateway instance needs to be online but it cannot be online so why i'm telling you this these are the troubleshooting things that you may need in your future whenever you are working on this power bi gateway stuff i already removed my gateway application from this computer so that i can show you as a demo so that's why i won't be able to add it over here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna remove it from the cluster i'm gonna use this key again and that would be now an independent one it won't be in any cluster so this will give you a glimpse of the errors or the different situations whenever you are installing your power bi gateway what can happen and how to resolve those errors now you can see that i have created my bcp underscore demo on premise data gateway over here everything is ready it's ready for power bi app power automate power bi by default environment and also azure analysis services if i want to use now you will also find certain other settings like for example service setting sometimes our gateway is not working so that time you can come over here you will log in with your credentials and then you can restart it from here if you want to change your account also you can do over here then there are the diagnostic network connections and your recovery key so you can also set a new recovery key for example in certain cases you forgot your key but you remember your credentials so you can come over here you can sign in and you can set your key now our thing for the installation of the power bi data, data gateway has been done over here now what i'm gonna do i'm going to my report this is a sample report that i have just created to demo this data gateway installation or the configuration part in this report i am using sql server if i'll go over here i'll show you my options and settings i'll go my data source settings you can see that this is my connection strings over here adventureworks is my database name and server name is power bi i am using azure virtual machine right now over here on my desktop which you can see so always remember that whenever you are working on a virtual machine and you have installed your server over there always use your server name as your virtual machine name otherwise it's not gonna work so in many cases many people have asked me okay this gateway is not working what can be the reason what could be the server name or i want to connect with my data server which is on my virtual machine so how to connect with that so your server name is always going to be your virtual machine name let me publish this once more so that are all the recent changes are gonna be there i'm gonna publish in my demo workspace select ok replace it's success now i'll go on my power bi service over here I'm going to my workspace which is my demo workspace it's in the lineage mode and if you want to change lineage mode to list mode you can do that but power bi has recently updated the lineage mode as well where you will find the different icons so if you would like to work in that that's the wonderful thing because I love to work on the lineage board but if you want to change it to list you can do that so once I'm on my list mode over here, this is my gateway testing report that I just uploaded. And here is the schedule refresh. Either you can come over here or alternatively you can be in your lineage mode. You go to your report and here you will click on these three dots and there is a schedule refresh. So click on this. Now the very first option is your data and data gateway connection. So the first one won't work over here i already told you the reason i have removed that gateway from my machine that's why it's not gonna work but as soon as you would come on the second one over here you will see it's saying that bcp demo not configured correctly so in order to configure that we have to come over here click this one we will say okay we want to add a data gateway and over here 
once you will come to add a data gateway you will find these different settings so we can give it a data source name and i'm gonna say sql server my data source type is sql server if you have something else you can select over here there are so many then your database name is going to be over here server name again it, it's going to be your virtual machine name basic my credentials are there and i'm gonna say add now again come to your data gateway connection and over here you will notice bcp underscore demo my database name is over already over here so this is my data source that i want to add which i just defined select this apply now you will get this notice which is saying data testing gateway connections updated great we don't need to add any data source credential over here but if you are using some cloud-based data source then you have to come over here and now we can directly go over there where our schedule refresh is currently off so what i can do i am gonna switch it on daily you can define your time zone whichever you want and then at utc coordinated universal time it's gonna daily refresh your data or if you want to do weekly as well you can do that you can choose your days and you can choose your time as well now for the time for example i'm choosing this 100 am pm that you can choose and there is also an option like send refresh failure notification to you can send it to data set owner or if you have any group of email addresses generally that we have in our organization so you can come over here and you can define those so right now we don't need it just click and apply you will go back over here and now if you want to refresh your data source what you can do you will come over here and you will say refresh now so let me go again back i'm sorry over here this is my report gateway testing i will come over here i'll say refresh now and it would start refreshing your power bi data set so you can see that processing is going on and now let's wait to finish this one it would take a couple of seconds and now you can see that exactly 10:58 the timing at the bottom of my screen and 10:58 am is over here date is 12th of february 2021 that's all our data gateway has been configured we have configured the schedule refresh we have also seen what can happen while installing the power bi data gateway or their configuration after this suppose you are encountering any problem or you want to see the settings you can come over here and you will go to the manage gateways under the settings and here this one i have removed already that's why it's coming over here but you can come over here and you can check what its name department description if you want to add or contact information you can do over here and also you can add multiple admins to this one so as i mentioned you earlier if someone else is also working on the power bi data gateway in your company and they also needs to access this so you can add them admin over here under this one you will find your data source and the data source configurations if you want to test your connections you can click over there and it would test your connection like over here connection successful you can also add users for this particular data source as well that's all guys that's all you need to know while configure or installing your power bi data gateway on your machine if you still have any question or concern please do let us know this video i specifically created from your feedback because there are many guys who wanted to know what to do how to install and what not to do if you have any questions or concerns please do let us know in the comment section and stay tuned for more updates